California. Critics say there are damaging side effects, making the long-term housing shortage even worse. Eyewitness News reporter Giovanna Lara looks at both sides of the controversy. Paying $90 a night to stay in a home like this in the Hollywood Hills is an absolute deal for tourists coming to L.A., much cheaper than most hotels. Airbnb and other online lodging services make it possible by connecting travelers to homeowners with space to rent. I'm able to use an extra room in my home to make money, which enables me to keep my house. The problem is short-term rentals can be so lucrative that some property management companies and landlords are getting in on the action, renting to tourists instead of people who live and work in the area, at a time when some say the L.A. rental housing shortage is reaching crisis levels. We know that renters are facing a squeeze right now. Rents are going up, uh, vacancies are going down. There's not enough housing to go around. Roy Simon, research and policy analyst at the Los Angeles Alliance for a New Economy, just completed a study on the effect of Airbnb on the local housing market and found 7,300 local rentable units have been lost to the Airbnb tourist market. We need to look at ways to really slow this process down. Last summer, the city of Burbank discussed making short-term rentals illegal, and city councilman Mike Bonin says they're technically illegal in Los Angeles. But enforcement only happens when complaints are filed. So what we're doing in the city of Los Angeles is we're canvassing all the different stakeholders, residents, business owners, affordable housing advocates, and figuring out how we can come up with uh, a regulatory mechanism uh, that defines where these places can be and where they can't be. Giovanna Lada, ABC7 Eyewitness News. New at 6, a new 